if we find that someone has some degree of atherosclerosis, either starting in the carotid arteries or starting in the aorta, that is a situation where we, number one, we start to institute some medications to try and reduce the progression of that disease, but we'll also potentially screen the heart as well. If someone is diabetic, uh, it does significantly increase the risk of heart disease, but if the diabetes is well controlled, it can, it can reduce that risk. Other issues like high cholesterol are also things that we get a lot more aggressive with if someone is diabetic. So what we consider quote unquote normal cholesterol for someone without diabetes, unfortunately a lot of times is not our goal for someone with diabetes. So it's a bit unfair, but we try and push cholesterol a lot lower in folks with diabetes just because we know that cholesterol buildup, atherosclerosis, that process of cholesterol building up is just a bit more aggressive in folks with diabetes. I would say if that sort of thing runs in the family, the first thing to do is uh, really preventative care. So make sure you don't get diabetes, you know, diet, exercise. Uh, if you have high cholesterol, stay ahead of it. If you have high blood pressure, stay ahead of it. You know, manage these conditions before they become something else. But uh, it's never unreasonable to see, to see your doctor and ask if there's more testing that's warranted to see if you want to screen for some early signs of heart disease earlier on in life. Things like valve issues, uh, leaky valves, narrow valves, they can run in families sometimes. It's not cl as clearly genetic as some other things, but there are certain types of heart valve issues that can come from genetics as well. So along a similar vein, you know, it's, it's reasonable to get screened uh, for these sorts of things. But um, you know, those, those are good questions for your doctor to see if there's anything else that needs to be done. The studies that have been done do show that they can come, they certainly can come hand in hand. It's a similar process that happens in all, in all of the body. So the arteries in the neck, the arteries in the legs, the arteries in the heart, if, if one of them is filling up with a little bit of cholesterol or calcium, the others can as well. Now in terms of incidence and prevalence, we tend to see it starting in sort of the aorta, the big blood vessel, and the carotids a little bit earlier than we usually see it in the heart arteries. So. If we find that someone has some degree of atherosclerosis, either starting in the carotid arteries or starting in the aorta, that is a situation where we, number one, we start to institute some medications to try and reduce the progression of that disease, but we'll also potentially screen the heart as well with a stress test or you know, further, certainly an EKG or other testing to make sure that, the, that if you have blockage either in the neck arteries or in the leg arteries or somewhere else, that it hasn't already extended to the heart. And so, um, so we always wanna make sure that if it's involving one area, that it's not involving the others. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up to help more people find this important health information. Click the subscribe button and the notification bell for access and reminders to more Emanate Health videos. We upload informative video content every week.